All right, you two people, have another day for another headache. Uh, this is a 2003-2002, and this model here is all the way to 2008-2009, I believe, and then they stopped making this car. This is the Lexus SC430. This is very, very well made uh, Lexus for this year and model and it's a it's a coupe convertible hard top uh, for passenger well come up to me uh, this car is basically is a radiator problem and not sure what's wrong with the engine uh, causing the uh, radiator is cracked big crack right here and cost the engine running out water and until the engine is too hot and got freeze the uh, piston rod so got another engine and going to swap that engine to this right here I already took the somewhat part of the intake manifolds uh, water hose and the cover so it looked like empty now and radiator is pretty easy you have the radiator hose right here uh, clamp the nothing in the bottom so when you take the radiator out you're just pretty much taking out the whole radiator so you just disconnect the power uh, fan powers uh, core and disconnect the upper and lower uh, cool, cooling line and then the transmission cooling line and then that's it you just pull the radio out uh, from the front here okay now everything's out so plenty of room right here you can see down here at the bottom if you take in about the uh, cover then uh, it should leave it a lot of open okay Need to take this cover. Need to take this. Um, drop this um, sway bar. I'm going to take this bracket out. Have more room for me. more freely. So I swing the AC like this for the power steering. There's a two bolt holding in the back here. Oh, I can't see right there, but um, I don't have a hand to hold it, so I can't really shoot that when I take it out. But there's two bolt right there, and just screw that too, and then swing this. So when you take those two bow out, we're gonna slide forward. I want to release. Okay. Put slide forward like this. sometimes they are too tight and you squeeze the aluminum hose and you bend it you know I hate that much sometimes when you uh, that tube is round and then you try to pry it out and you bend it you have a leak right there you know have to disconnect the uh, Transmission cooling line from the engine. So when you take the uh, engine out, so it won't hook it up to the engine. They because they mount couple bolt to the engine block right here.
Okay, I have to remove that little piece cat converter here and they have not much room for the uh, top um, transmission bolt because you had like two on the top and pretty much let's see I can get it up to the top right there <clears throat> I'm going to remove my uh, torque converter uh, bolt I have two, four, five. So we've got five out. And let me see how many on that torque converter. Let me see. Day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty one more in there and the see that bolt right there so still over there I'm not sure I can get it out and the engines already locked I thinking I just take this bolts off and uh, break this part right here because aluminum so it's probably not that hard to break it out and I believe it's a hollow inside here. So now I create a bigger hole so um, I can stick my sway wall in there. So it's lucky I got it out and I had to impact all this metal here, aluminum here, to get that bolt over there. Down here is a very tight space for the exhaust to free from the uh, steering shaft right here. So I'm going to move this piece right here, this connected to bolt right here and um, remove this little uh, elbow shaft right there but before I do that I'm going to mark for line in case um, you know I miss so it, it, it just line up I'm going to put right there for the one on the side here I think I'm going to drop a little bit the two for a bolt right there to make the transmission lower so I can have more room to maneuver on the side here. Okay, I'm gonna create I create a little bit gap right there and down there a little bit. So, I don't get much, but a little bit tiny, it does help a lot, so. This V8 here actually is not that bad for a V8 with this size of small vehicle I think this is very very easy compared to some other V8 that um, <coughs> cluster V8 and uh, I can see that this radiator take me I would say 10 minutes and the rest is at the top here can't really see nothing down there so um I'm not gonna record it because it's not even with it so two on the top here when you put your finger in there you can feel this two starter right but the one down a little bit more so that's the one mounting to the transmission 
So this one, you don't have to do nothing because that too is holding the starter. Bottom here is a 17 bolt. Transmission already split. I use my jack to holding the transmission pan down there. And I'm gonna pry it out. Yeah, separate already. All right, YouTube, uh, I will do a fast forward only because to install on this vehicle very much is reverse from what you're taking out. And uh, if you have a question on this vehicle, how to take it out, what to do, what you should do to get this vehicle back on the road, just, you know, write your comment below so I can answer your question within you know hour or less because a lot of time I have a lot of free time to answer your question so new to old, old to new side by side so I had to switch the harness and uh, remove the intake manifold because they cut the starter um, power supply and all that stuff injector and uh, uh, coil pretty much the same. I probably just use that one over there and change the sensor that on this side They broke that sensor right here. So I need to just change that sensor All right, um, I think the uh, Lexus Sport 30 is For a sporty car a small compact like this. I Would say a medium difficult if you try to buy one that engines broke or transmission is broke and you just like want to know to see how difficult to put this in buy one if a cheap just buy one I recommend you that this is a easy fix just like Civic or or Corolla actually I think this is much more easier than Corolla. It's more difficult than this Lexus 430 here. And I just encourage you to fix this car. It's a very, very plain vehicle. All what you see on top is just a cover. So, uh, I would say a medium difficult only. And, uh, you know, you have to drop the subframe a little bit down to be able to free the engine out. But that's just minor stuff. So, you know, it's not difficult like Mercedes, the CLK 500, you know, moving the AC compressor, you just drop the whole frame up or pull the engine up a little bit to get the AC compressor. This Lexus here is a piece of cake. Just, you know, get it done in, in a two day and you can get it in the car back in the road. All right, if you Lexus charge $10,000, Slap their face.
Fantastic! Sounds brand new. Very sad that this car, after I finished it, and he drove for one week, and after the smogs passed, so he's so excited about the car. So he drove to funeral site on the night time and drunk driving, you know, ran into about four or five cars, slammed his rear bumper, and all the way to, you know, the car pushing to hit another car in the front and damage both side front and rear and you can see this picture here so sad all right enjoy my youtube and subscribe see you next video thank you so much bye now